Hey guys, so I beat the game and now we have some coins. They actually don't give you that many coins once you beat the game. So we're gonna open some packs. We might have to physically buy. Okay, let's see. So let's open the boost pack. Open. And we got, wow, that, that was a really bad boost pack. <laughs> I cannot see playing any of that. So we beat the game and we got some points. These points are really difficult to get, mainly because the booster pack costs like $1.50 in real life. So let's open the booster pack. Hopefully we get something good. And no. Wow, like, huh. Part of the reason the booster pack isn't as good as a real booster pack, there's not that many cards, there's only six cards. And yes, let's open the pack. Open 10 booster packs. What is this card? This placement wave. Okay, so, <laughs> wow, so my luck has not really changed for from opening packs it's just like opening packs in real life too <laughs> i might just have to end the video and then just buy more packs ah uh, ick okay so let us return to store we're out of monies um our cards were really really bad like extremely bad so let's go ahead and play a game. Let's go to battle mode and we'll just play someone. So here's my deck. I'll show you my deck real fast. And let's edit the deck. If we win, we get one more boost pack. If we lose, we don't get a boost pack. I This kind of is like a pay to play or scenario. I mean, it's exactly a freemium scenario, right? So Relic Seeker. We don't even have anything that we can use for Relic Seeker, so that's useless. Uh, what is this? Okay, it's renowned auto attacking. This card is actually pretty good. We'll probably use this card. No, we don't want foil. Uh, so let's put in this card, and what should we take out? Is it take out. I don't know. Let's take out this card. This card is not as optimal. That card was okay. We are red. Let's go to red and see what we have in red. I want to take out twin bolts. Twin bolts are not very good. Molten Vertex. That's an interesting card. It's seen some play right now. And okay, so I have one gate. I have 20, 19, 20 land. Oh, that's weird. I'll put in this card and then I will uh, get rid of Impulse. Impulse is not good. Impulse is definitely not good in this deck. I'll put in one of these and get rid of, oh, Twin Bolt. Like I really don't want to play Twin Bolts. They're very bad. So I need two more cards. No, I need three more cards. Act of Treason. It's playable. Trader's Instinct. Huh, so people can add to you, I guess, if they wanted to. Let's see. I guess we'll use this card. I mean, it does generate a 1-1 one, one whenever a creature card. We'll play this card, too. It's just so blah. It's... You have to like buy, spend money to get like boost packs. I feel like there's no way you can play this game without spending money because you don't collect enough points. I beat the whole game and I got like five booster packs. Not even. Um, I guess this is removal and I would have to go to a mana base and fix it. You gotta go up one and down one. So go up, nope. We go up one, and I think 12 is fine for the red. 
No, actually, I don't like. I don't like having a come in to play tap land. I think this is fine. Eight and twelve. Eight and twelve. I would probably go nine and eleven. Would nine and eleven work better? But it doesn't matter. So we're done. Let's save our changes, and we'll go ahead and we'll battle mode. Let's see. Versus battle, so you can go ahead and you can play against a ranked opponent. And it looks for a person. It looks for a person that you can battle. Uh, I did this one time and I got blown out because the person obviously spent lots of money on their deck because the deck was like highly optimized. Oh, I heard this was a problem too, that like if you play a lot of Magic Origins, you cannot find a person to play. So I guess like all the people have the same image, they have the same icon, right? Uh, I'll show you the cool battle stuff that it keeps your ranking. That's kind of cool. But iPad can only battle iPads. So I can't battle you if you have Steam. So here we go. We Yes, as usual, we have the same icon. We'll get... I figured that we need to actually buy money. Oh, this is like a bad deck. Oh, crap. This is my keep for fun deck. So I'm going to... Keep the hand and then just exit. So I'm going to concede. Yes. <laughs> and they can win the easy 20 points, which is good. That I used the wrong deck. And that deck is really, really bad. Like, I don't know why that deck. So maybe I should delete that deck. So, yeah, having two decks is kind of weird. Um, let's do versus battle. And, yeah, so this is a problem. You have to do this. And people are like, oh, hey, well, you left the game. What if he really wanted to play you? Not with that deck. That deck is, like, horrendous. It is horrendous. Plus the fact that the only reason that you're playing... Okay, so you... People have different icons? So how do you get different icons? Does anyone know? Like, leave a comment below, because I want not this icon. Jace is my least favorite planeswalker. His story is very mad to me. It doesn't really make too much sense. And yeah, so let's go ahead and battle. Oh, what is this? Is this a real person? Where am I right now? <laughs> like, It seems like this is not a real person. Okay, this is... I guess it's viable. No, let's draw a new hand. Oh, crap. Let's keep this hand. Farika's Chosen. This is probably not a real person, right? I mean, why would they name themselves this? It doesn't make any sense. Okay, so let's go. And let's... Oops. And... Yeah. So, <laughs> this plan is a terrible plan. And we are a, a bor Boros deck with lots of lands. But we are on the play. We are likely to lose this match, this game, and yeah. We need to draw like really good cards. Oh, that's a good card, but we can't play right now. So, we're, and we don't actually want to play it for why it would be useful. And in we go. So we're not going to get the advantage. We're going to only play as a 2-2 first striker. No, I want to attack. Farika's Chosen has been replaced by AI. Oh, so it's like everyone does this. Oh, so you don't get the free win. You you replace you you get replaced by the AI. Interesting. And then now you play the AI if the person drops. That's fun. At least you get like a game. Okay, let's go. Um, here's an interesting part. I, I definitely just want this card on the field. I want to be as aggressive as possible. And I do have like removal. My removal is pretty good. No, I want to attack. So if you're not... So if you're playing a game and your opponent drops, then 
the AI plays the game for your opponent, which is kind of fun. I mean, it's better than like being booted from the game. Telling time, that's a good card. So the AI should probably be making choices faster than a real human being. Okay, he's playing probably some control deck, I would assume. Oh yeah, this card is pretty good, if we can get this card out. Um, and I'll play my land. So I definitely need to buy m more booster packs. That's not even... Like, we have to buy more booster packs. Because the deck is less than optimal. And some of the decks I faced were really, really good. This de deck doesn't seem to... Maybe it's waiting for Languish, which would be a complete blowout right now. But we got him down to 9, which is like fine enough. That's fine. Telling time again. Interesting. So telling time is the best uh, ponder-ish deck. Ponder replacement in Magic Origins. Yep, so we pretty much got this wrapped up. You got 2 damage from the Fire Fist. They can. Uh, yes, that's interesting. So, do I want to shoot that down? And probably I do. Oh, I didn't click on the button fast enough. So, here's a creature. I will pump. Who said I pump? Does this one have first strike? No, it doesn't. 3 2, 2 2, 3 1. I don't know what, what should we pump? Let's pump. Let's pump this guy. Oh, he does have first strike, so we don't need to pump him, but let's pump this guy then. Okay, we pumped the wrong guy. And let's just attack for everyone. And hopefully we can, like, stop. Okay, continue. Hopefully we can fire fist away in enough time and click the correct button. Oh, okay, fire fist. So we can do two damage. And the problem is like, you can see I can't click on the thing blocking it. So this is a problem with the UI is the one one goes behind the card I want to target and if I click the if I click the card I want to target it just doesn't kill it because it kills the one one instead which would defeat the purpose of so that's a problem that they stack cards like that right in front of each other and you cannot separate them unless there's some way to um see they have like really good cards and my renowned creature now dies yes oh, excellent um, he's down to four though, so I can, I don't have any burn. I was going to say, oh, I can probably burn him out. And we just have to play carefully here and try to bait him into attack. We cannot attack here. We just need some burn. We're at 20 life, so it's okay. But at this point, he is playing a very strong control deck. He's got six cards in hand. And what is that? Yeah, that's not good. We need to find a flyer. We do have a few different flyers here, but we need to draw on those. Okay, let's go. And we found another one of these. So yeah. We need to get better cards. These cards are terrible. The cards they give you are very, very bad. And you need to, you need to honestly buy booster packs. So maybe we end this video, I pay real money to buy booster packs and then we come back and we open them. I don't know, like it depends on like how much you want to see Magic Origins videos. Magic Origins isn't, 
The card pool is extremely limited, so it's not as fun as like real Magic. And the people that I've played against and then the whatever the journey was not great. Like it didn't make any sense what I was doing. So he's going to be extremely defensive. I do not have that much burn. Like Exquisite Fire would be nice to have, but I don't have that in my deck. This card is not bad and will help us a little bit. It is a 4-5, so he will have to double block it and we can attack. Um, so two ones can attack. Do we want to attack into this? If we attack in, he'll have to give up both his 2-2s. Two we lose free creatures. Yes, I do want to attack into this. Because the goblin dudes, they actually do free damage. So he cannot profitably block those guys. And there we go. We got two damage in and that's okay because the other dude has trample. And now we can burn him even for one. And that would do enough for us to win the game and buy another boost pack. So I guess the next game, the next time I see you guys, yeah, see like people playing these cards that are really suboptimal. Like why are they playing this card? In this case, the card's not bad because you can play his one ones. Um, four free. Why would he do that? Okay, no, I'm at twenty life. No, I will not block you. <laughs> like. Obviously, that's a card that they want to play. So in this case, with 8 up, that's not too bad. He has 6 power. That was actually very bad for him. I don't know why he would do that. I am I will hold this land in case I get the Molten one. And we'll attack with everybody. Hmm. Should I attack with everybody? I get to trade. So he blocks, blocks. He needs to block everybody to kill my... But then he can't do that because I have um so he made a mistake. So he kept the four free behind. Because he, my Helion's gonna survive. He has to block the two two. Oh no, he doesn't. My Helion okay, that's how he would block. Oh. Okay. That was not as good for me, but whatever. Yeah, so that that's yeah, that makes sense now. Like let's take the damage. Just one damage, but you're at fifteen life, it's not a big deal. Oh, come on. Maybe that was a mistake. I should have blocked the four free unless he had like a spell with my four five, but I don't know. That's kinda of weird. Yeah, that was probably a mistake. I need to get enough creatures so he cannot... Okay, so he's attacking me. That means he'll play a creature later. I just need to get to a burn spell of some type. Like, even a very easy burn spell. Here we go. Yeah, that that's a creature that I have to block. It drains you for five. And then there's five on the field. Yeah, it's not good. We lost. Good, nice. We have the exact card I wanted to see right now. God damn it, this deck sucks. Oh, Magic Origins. Should I even invest money in this? Like, I don't know. I do not know because we lost the game. Damn it. We literally could not draw into a single burn spell because we don't have any. <laughs> okay, cool. Sounds good. Yeah, and that's going to be a massive amount of damage here. I think it's enough. They won. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Cannot believe that. And then... Oh, we're still alive somehow. Oh, well, we have this card, of course. What does this card do? You may pay one red if you do put a token card exile it. Yeah, so it's not going to get us two damage. Damn it. So how do we play this card? 
Whenever a non-token enters the battlefield in your control, you may pay one if you do put a token card. Oh, it gets haste. So we did win. And now we can attack everybody because the, <laughs> the we won like this. Wow, that's that was uh, interesting. Oh, so now we can open another boost pack. Nice. Just attack with everybody. We got there. Just <laughs> we got there in the weirdest way possible. Wow, that's uh, pretty interesting. Yeah, we we still need to buy more booster packs though, and we won twenty gold coins, and now we can go ahead and buy a new booster pack. Oh, we we got one. What is that? A creature you control. Season rankings. What does that mean? Oh, good. So let's go ahead and buy another pack. So I'll show you guys what we should buy. Like ideally you would buy this one and that would give you 25 packs. But that's like 25 bucks. So it's a dollar a pack. But if you bought them individually, it would be $2 a pack. So you save a little bit of money. I'm thinking of buying either this one or this one. This one comes down to be, you get like nine packs, I feel like. Nine packs for 10 bucks. Which is not like... This one is like 25 packs for 25 bucks. So it's not bad. But we're going to get a pack. And I'll make that decision later. Yeah, we want, we want to buy a pack. I'm clicking the buttons and it's not doing... Ah, magic. Magic online. Okay, so nothing happened. We had to exit out. Yeah, it's it's frozen. What just happened? What's... Okay, so we're gonna have to log back in to buy our pack to open our pack. Hopefully, get like exqui exquisite fire would be very good. Sometimes it does this where it just doesn't work. It just freezes and like in the middle of the game and then it logs you out. Reconnect. Oh, maybe the connection is... No, my internet is still working. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's awesome. We... Yeah, let's go to the store. Store. No, I don't want the booster packs. One buy. Confirm. Okay. Open. And let's get like a Chandra. Let's get a Chandra. Ah. Oh. Man, I I don't know what to say. These packs are like horrendous. Maybe if you spend money, they give you better packs. Like I would hate to believe that is the case, but isn't that the case? For most games that you have to like pay. So maybe I go ahead and buy these packs, 25 packs. Oh, 25 packs. We can make like a viable deck, you guys think? Or do you think we need like $40? We need to spend 50 packs. 50 packs, we still might not get the Planeswalkers we need. Like, right? I mean, I haven't seen a Mythic yet. And I've opened, it looks like, 11 packs already. I don't know. I think we're going to end up buying this one. I'm not positive. Or this one. Huh. Anyway, that's the gameplay for right now. I hope you, you guys had fun. I know I whine a lot, but that's it's early in the morning. It's like six o'clock in the morning, and I went to a party with friends and da 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 da. Bye guys.